Scarloe and Reneus are very proud of their line and have been for 150 years. They are two of the oldest working engines in the world and are proud of it. Passengers flock from all over to see them and hear their stories, but they also take plenty of goods trains too. The quarries are still full of slates and the little engines carry it down to the wharf. Here, Paxton waits for the slate to be loaded into the big trucks of the North Western. Thank you, Scarlowie. You little engines are great. I'd never be able to do the job you do, you know. I'd be too frightened I'd get hit by a rock or something. It's happened before. That time I got hit by a... well, rock. <laughs> and that time that I dented Gordon's boiler. I don't think I have the best history thinking about it. Ah, oh, thank you, Paxton. You could use to it after a while. It's fairly safe at the quarry now, but it wasn't always like that. Just as it is. He knows all about being frightened of rock slides, don't you? Oh, you had to bring it up, didn't you? Uh, to be honest, if anyone should be grateful, it's me. I still remember it all. Um, I don't. Bit confused, actually. Are you here for a while? Ages. Excellent. Story time. <laughs> It was 1867. The railway lines were only just beginning to grow, and steam engines were state-of-the-art technology compared to the horses that usually took the trains. Of course, there were only two engines on the Scar Railway line in those days. Come on you, let's get to work. This was Mr. Bobby, who had helped to build Scarlowy and Reneus. He sometimes visited to see how the two were getting on. Are we going to the quarry, sir? Of course. Where else would we go? I thought maybe the track needed some maintenance. Uh, you know how unstable Scarlowy is. He might come off the rails. I heard that. On true. I got more wheels than you. Yes, but you're top heavy. Look at that huge metal thing with the windows on you. A cap, is it? <laughs> You'll never see me with one of those. I know you don't want to go to the quarry because you're frightened. You don't have to hide it from me. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I just can't get used to it. It's much different from being in the countryside like here. All those loud noises and sharp rocks everywhere. The sooner we finish, the sooner we leave. I guess so. Reneus had a right to be scared. At the quarry, health and safety was not the priority. There were no harnesses, no helmets or high visibility jackets. Just pickaxes, splintered slate trucks and a huge hill they called an incline. dangerous for an engine like me. I'm only small. He chunted around, picking up slate trucks and getting them ready for the journey back. The track in the quarry is covered over with crushed stone, with just the two rails poking through the dust. Quite often there's something on the line, but today Reneus didn't see it. It wasn't your fault. Right then. I'll go and get an iron bar to get you back on the track. Reneus waited patiently, until suddenly a rock fell from the cliffside above and landed right in front of him. His safety valve took off like a rocket. That's it! I want to get out! I don't want to stay here anymore! Alright. There. You're back on the rails. We can go now. Come on! No, 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 no! There's still the box in front of me! <sighs> By the time he reached the shed, Reneus was fed up and more shaken than ever. So! You're the one that he is after all! Grow some courage, Reneus! They're only rocks! Six and 
stones may break your bones, but forge to the end. Don't have any. It's not funny. I am not working in that quarry again. And he didn't. Scarlowy didn't find it funny then, when he was sent more often to the quarry instead. There was nothing anybody could do to convince Reneas it was safe. He was too scared there'd be a rock fall. Mr. Bobby was a nice man, and at last he gave in. Come on, let's go! Sir, I'm not ready yet! My fire hasn't been lit! Oh, how mine is. I know. We're taking Reneas to the quarry today. What? Sir, I, I don't want to cause trouble, but I simply do not want I to. I know. The quarry workers and I have a bit of a surprise for you, Reneas. Come on. Curious to find out more, Reneas agreed, and they reached the slate quarry in good time. This is for you. It's a blast shelter for engines. You can sit in there when you don't feel safe and be away from everything. Oh, thank you, sir. I'd feel much better knowing that's here. I'll get straight to work. And that was how it was. When he felt cautious at the quarry, Reneas huddled in the shelter until the work was done, blowing up the mountainside and clearing away the rubble. For the next few weeks, both engines worked well together and were shifting more slate trains than ever. This meant that the quarry became busier, but not safer. to my driver and fireman. I you can keep them dry. Like you. So you keep saying? Why don't you chuff into your little shelter? That little hut made from rocks, so you can keep away from the rocks. Scarlowy was far too proud to ever use the blast shelter, so he didn't. It rained hard that day. It usually did in the British Isles. Most work in the quarry had halted, but the engines were still there to take what slate they could. I don't like thunderstorms! Mm, this doesn't seem right. Scarlowy, get out of the shed! No way! There's a thunderstorm! I... I, I, I can't! I'm serious, Scarlowy. Get out of there now! Look, I know this is your shed. You can have it back once the storm passes. You're going to have to get out there before then. I don't think it's safe. Oh, you mean you don't think you're safe? Let me have a turn for one, Trinias. I'm staying here. My crew have already gone to the former's office to take shelter as well. Stop being so afraid. I could say the same to you. Now let's go. It isn't safe in there. <laughs> oh, look out, you two. I should have left you in there. Well, that was certainly a close one. I am very proud of you, Reneas. That was very courageous of you. Perhaps it would have been nice if Scar Louis had done the same and stepped into the storm. Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry, sir. So it turns out the only thing I thought was allowing me to conquer my fear wasn't actually able to withstand a rockfall after all. Don't worry. We'll build you a new one. A stronger one. Like your ship. I don't think I'll need it, sir. I feel quite confident now. I think you should construct a storm shelter for Scar Lobby, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the bright side to all this weather, we certainly have a lot of slate to take back now. Come on, you two, let's head home. Reneas, I think you'd best travel with me back to Whitehaven. After this encounter, I think you deserve yourself a new cap and a new coat of tea.
and I would never fear to meet again. And nor was I. Oh, wow! That's so cool! You two are so old! In a good way, though. Ha! <laughs> oh, I've probably got to get going now. Thanks so much for the story. Goodbye! Oh, well, goodbye, Parkson! Oh! Ha, 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 ha.